Hello, Brother Nero here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And a scenario sent in live on Twitch by Bjorn the Pugilist, who's in the Twitch chat. Um, interesting one. So we have a German convoy, um, and I could choose how large a convoy. The more transports I added, the more heavily defended it is. I've gone for four transports, which means I have to face four destroyers, two light cruisers, and a heavy cruiser. Uh, but this also determines my budget. I have 40 million. And I'm going to try and build a Japanese battle cruiser, 1920s. So, why not? Why not? Battle cruiser three. Hmm. The Ontake. Oh, you get quite a few different sizes for this. Let's go for this one, I think. Again, go for a medium-sized one, just to keep costs down. Right, towers. Five, none of them are particularly good. Hmm. Let's go with the advanced tower three. I think that offers a good price step comparison. Mm. I think the rear tower six is a bit of a bargain at five fifty. We'll go with that. All right, fifty one smoke, uh, thirty four if we use oil. Hmm, go for two small funnels or enhanced. Gives me twenty three three for minus nine. 24, 7 for minus 2. Or 28, 5 for 2. I think two standard funnels in that case. Like so. Yes, why not? I think the superstructure looks all right. Uh, hmm. Yeah, Q turret. I mean, possibly, but I actually think this design is going to be. Hmm. Well, let's have a look at the guns. Bearing in mind, I'm fighting cruisers. Uh, I could go 14. Or I could go nines. Hmm. It's only a heavy cruiser. There is a temptation to go for nines. It's a bit unusual to build a battle cruisers. And they are sexy, as Thread Length quite rightly points out. Uh, and the other fun thing you can do with nines. is you can super uber violent. Right. Can I get a way of doing that with a short uh, secondary barbet? Just! <gasps> Look at that! How's that for uh, design tolerances? <laughs> yes. Absolutely perfectly fine. Yeah, fire arc. That's that's decent. Okay. Uh, that one has to stay there. Okay. Okay. That gives me it's quite a lot of firepower. I would say. Wonder how many I can fit on the back. Be 
interesting if we could repeat the process. Uh, no, I can't have any more of those. But I can have a medium barbet. Okay. Alright, so we're going to have a five turret layout. And I have an half weight offset. Mm. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Smaller on the middle bar bit. Possibly, I just don't know which one I would I would use. They don't fit on the, sh the this one. So I can go for a shorter one in the medium superimposed bar bit. One. Yeah, they just look they just look a bit wrong. But uh, it might it might work a little bit better. In terms of the look of the ship. Yeah, that does look nicer. Alright. Well, I'm liking this ship so far. Uh, <laughs> even if the super duper firing arrangement at the front's a bit ridiculous. Uh, any secondary guns worth bringing? Uh, two inch of Mark IVs, which is interesting. Mm, we've got nines. Uh, nines and fives. A couple of five inch guns. And we've got the casement guns, of course. Let's go fives. Uh, any little ones fit? Oh, yeah, threes. Hey there, WP. <laughs> you just—I just did your scenario. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, you can go back and watch it. I think. Um, I am so sorry. I had one of yours sitting around that I hadn't got around to doing it. Um, I don't think. <laughs> anyway, I enjoyed it. Uh, I think that's quite a lot of firepower. Let's just check if we can't squeeze in some two inch guns or something random. No. Oh, you're getting your second COVID jab. Well, that's fair enough. The sheer rate of fire on this ship. Yeah. Uh, I do have to remember my budget, of course, which I haven't even been paying attention to. Uh, we're well under at the moment. Um, but uh, let's, let's get those guns able to hit something. Uh, we're going to want to be able to spot torpedoes. Explosive wise, if we have the good stuff, we could get away with Lidite, but I'm actually going to go high TNT super heavy. I know it's expensive. Possibly with Electro Hydro turrets. Yeah, Electro Hydro turrets. Uh, not minimum bulkheads, my friend. Let's go for maximum bulkheads. Um, gear turbines. Balanced boilers. No, forced. Wow, this thing is not going to be the fastest. Mind you, it is 1920. Damn, really? Only 26 knots. Yeah, it's just hard to get this ship going really, really fast. Oh well, uh, let's give it an Orcs diesel engine and a shaft. Keeps the cost down. Group 4 armor is going to put it up a lot. Uh, Anti-floods, reinforced bulkheads. 
And now we're starting to get into the the realms of expense. Mm, let's see now. Let's go for very long range. It is supposed to be a convoy raider. And then we can look at armor. Um, I should probably have a radio. Actually, we can get an RDF. Expensive and heavy. Um, but again, I found that um, in the custom scenarios anyway, the more like I build the ship with stuff it doesn't need, the more it feels like a real ship. And I'm just enjoying doing that. Um, deck armor is probably more than enough. I'm just going to take that down. I want 15 on the turret, 12 on the belt, 6 on the extended belt, 4 on the turret top, secondaries, 6, and now the question becomes how to arm up the rest of the ship. Yeah, 40 million budget. That is correct. Hello there, Renegat27. How are you doing? <laughs> I, th I think 40's pretty... It, it, it's because these 9-inch guns are inexpensive. Um, which is why I've gone for this. I'll have some dosh left over. Yeah, I will. Um, just more belt armor. Screw it. Actually, no, I don't need more belt armor. It's just heavy cruisers and stuff, isn't it? What I need is more belt extended armor. There we go. Lovely. With, I don't know, four, four million and change spare. The Ontake. A little bit of a four weight offset, really. Nope. Perfectly balanced. Ah, yes. Good, 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 good. Well. <laughs> I like it. Um, it's a bit of a wide, big gap in here. But other than that, I think it looks good. Let's go. Yeah, well, it's good to know that the Admiralty will be pleased with it coming in under budget. Let's see how we do against this German convoy. Now, of course, another reason for taking RDF, if you are a convoy raider, as part from um, improved radio communications, is you can tell where the convoy is using the RDF set. say with all these nine inch guns it probably would be a good convoy raider um, it's more of a souped up heavy cruiser than a than a battle cruiser I'd say but meh <laughs> I think it'll do this particular job quite well Why no wing turrets? Because then... Uh, no. How, <laughs> really? Seems the enemy is using 9-inch guns as well. Enemy in sight. Sneaky. Sneaky. Heavy cruiser. That means guns no less. Meaning we are more equal in firepower than I am comfortable with. Although he has six, uh, he has nine guns. Um, I have fifteen. Oh, 
torpedoes in the water. Rude. Not sure I can avoid this one. That looks like it might hit me. Which could be a bit nastier than I was hoping. Come out of nowhere. No, he missed. Good. Okay, we have the Kydrasser in Augusta. 14,000 tons, so about half our displacement. 30 million each. Yikes. Expensive. Uh, yeah. That's nasty. I've only got one of those, fortunately. Kill it. Series of hits. Nothing seriously broken, though. with dealing with that. Hey there, Fritz. How you doing? Let's keep an eye out for torpedoes here. That was some heavy hits on the Kaiser in. And sinks. Thanks to few bulkheads. Oof. That destroyer, very close. I don't want it to live. Yeah, there's a bunch more of those. The light cruisers, though, don't have torpedoes, so they're much less of a threat. Okay, destroy goes down before it fired. Excellent. Right, let's come about. Go find those transports. Yeah, I certainly can be more aggressive. Sometimes it really isn't. But it will now be more aggressive a lot of the time. No, <laughs> yeah, nah, mate. We're just going to shoot the big shit. We want all the glory. It's like, no, kill the destroyer, you idiots. Oh, that light cruiser is... Yeah. Not having a fun time. You're trying to ram me or something. What it looks like. <laughs> Badly. <laughs> Ultra aggressive AI, yeah. Uh, how am I? Uh, uh, meh. Meh at best. I don't play World of Warships, so I have no idea how good or bad secondary guns are um, in that game, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Aggressive AI, and also a dead AI. Yeah, there's some destroyers over there, plinking away at me, but I can't actually see them. Now I just need to find those transports. Yeah, RDF set is giving me some pings. Oh, destroyer revealed itself. Oh, yeah, nine-inch guns when they hit those things tend to make a mess. Yeah, there's the other one. Oh, 
Oh, we laid eggs. No. Oh my god, a lot of them. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Damn stealth destroyers. How many of those fuckers do they carry? Hundreds of them. Great. <laughs> F superior chat. Another one, Kakia. Oh no. I'm gonna take three, I think. Ow! Good lord. Rude. Unbelievably rude. Oh yeah, the rest of them. <laughs> no. Duh. Well, I'm not dead. God damn. That was stupid of me. Shouldn't have. Uh, being straight, sailing in a straight line. How did you miss? Oh, because you got target lock, that's why. How are they firing so many? I swear. Oh my god. I swear these destroyers have more torpedoes than it's physically possible for them to have. No, another three. On the other side, that's not good. Ow. Ow. Unreal number of um, torpedoes they've been able to put out. Stop so, again? How, how? How can you just keep plopping that many torpedoes in the water? I know one of them's a single launcher, but still, right. Finally killed another one. Meanwhile, we uh, continue to sink. Uh, I've currently taken nine torpedoes. Soon to be ten. Oof. Still doing 17 knots somehow, but uh, I don't think that'll last somehow. Right, spot of the V3. Oh, hit. It's nice. Kill it. Good. Right. <laughs> Any more of those shits? Uh, I just had a suspicion that he'd fired a torpedo, but I don't think he did. Right, to the north. To the north we go. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Yeah, those were crazy. Those destroyers. There's one left, by the way. I think. 
hiding somewhere. Hey there, tree frog. <laughs> yeah, he just got absolutely murdered uh, by... Uh, and I don't think my speed is enough now to catch that convoy. So, a failed attack. I'm going to limp limp back to port. Oh no, hang on. There's a destroyer out there still. We need to deal with her first before I can limp back to port. I don't think I'm going to catch the transports. I think they're long gone. Tis but a scratch. <laughs> uh, oh no, I can still be killed by this destroyer out here. I can't see until too late. See what I mean? Oh man, that is that is that that is feels unfair. Ow! <laughs> that feels decidedly unfair. True enough, thread. Yeah, true enough. It's most most dangerous time. I'm pretty much dead in the water now. Because uh, I can't use radar to spot the bastard. Although he won't be far away. He's just there. Still lives. I don't think we're able to go very fast now. If at all. And there are going to be more torpedoes coming my way. That is a serious amount of roll. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow, Andy Erickson. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping that destroys out of torpedoes. It stopped firing at me. No, it hasn't. I just can't see it. <laughs> what an app. Absolutely rude thing to do. It's got to be out of torps. Famous last words. <laughs> it's going to be another massive wave of the things coming at me any time now. Yeah, he's right there. Right here. Seven. Seven kilometres away. Just can't see him. Yeah, need to tug. Definitely. At least we've got a radio to call for one. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see if I get obliterated by another set of torpedoes. The other ones seemed perfectly able to... Um, hit me with a whole bunch of them. Yeah, and it's not the smoke screen either. Although that's not helping. Somewhere around here now. Someone call the AA. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'm going to uh, end <laughs> this here. Well, let's just say that um, the Ontaki goes and gets a tow. But that was a failed attack, um, which I was not expecting. God damn. Dangerous bloody destroyers. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Triptops. Bye-bye!